All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to give you the full rundown on how you can change your status on Discord so that you can either set a custom message or you can enable people to see what game you're playing in case you might like for them to be able to randomly join you while you're playing on a server. So the first way that you have of setting a custom message is to actually go down to the lower right hand corner and click on your little icon and then you can hit set custom status or you can set yourself to online idle or do not disturb. Do not disturb will prevent you from getting notifications and invisible will make you just look like you're completely offline. But you can also set a custom status where you can select an emoji of your choice. Like if we go down to like random food and I'll select like some do I want pancakes or do I want like a waffle or something? There we go. We'll just set it in a hot diggity dog. And then we can set how long we want that to last. I'm going to say leave it up for 30 minutes. And then my current status, I'm just going to leave as idle and then hit save. So now it shows the emoji hot diggity dog underneath of my username. Now, similarly, if you don't set a custom status, you can go into your user settings from the gear in the lower left hand corner and you can go down here under activity status. And this will allow you, if you toggle this on, to show people what game you are currently playing or is currently running on your computer. And then you can also go through here and be like, well, I don't necessarily want people to know that I'm playing, you know, Lost Ark. You can remove this from the list. And similarly, there is an in-game overlay that shows you who's talking while you're playing a game. And you can toggle this on or off for different games in order to keep that from lagging your game. Because different overlays from programs like Steam or other games launchers have been known to lag different games and software if they're trying to run on top of it. So you can disable that here. I typically leave that disabled by default because I can recognize names and voices pretty well. But for some people, you might want to enable or disable that specifically. And you can also just remove them by just clicking on the X button right here so that it doesn't show up on your status from your added games. Likewise, if you don't see a game in this list that you would like people to know that you are playing or that you would like to be able to stream because this is built into the kind of streaming system where you can screen share your games with people, you can click on this button to add it and then you can type in the name or click the pull down menu to find it on your computer and add it manually. Sometimes it happens. Not every game works the same way and is detected by Discord, although they try to add a lot of them manually in case it becomes a common add to your list. Likewise, if you do decide to share what kind of game you're playing and you have a custom status at the same time, people can click on you, see your custom status, and then they will be able to also see what game you're playing. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how you do things like set your status manually to set a little name underneath or a little message underneath your name. And it also allows you to show off what game you're currently playing if that's something that you like. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.